Hi, welcome to the New Business Bob Show. I'm Bob Voss, also known as New Business Bob. I got an email from a couple days ago from a guy named Jimmy, and Jimmy runs a small computer consulting business. And he sent me an email and he has a problem. Jimmy's problem is he's got a customer, he's very new in the business, that's not paying him. Okay, that happens a lot. What do you do if a customer's not paying him? Well, here's my best advice to you. If a customer isn't paying, them, paying you, you have to go after that customer. My advice to Jimmy was this. If you've got this customer and he's not paying you, I want you to send that customer a very terse letter or email. What does terse mean? Terse is very sharp, abrupt, concise, aggressive. Send them a terse email or letter saying that if you don't hear back from this person by this date, you are going to take further action. Now, you don't have to say what the further action is. And if somebody would ever ask you what the further action is, you could say, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna get an attorney involved or I'm gonna take you to conciliation court. But you send them a very terse email saying you have to hear by this date from this person, otherwise you're gonna take further action. Now, this does, however, bring up another little bigger problem, which is this. A lot of people who are starting out have a problem dealing with this price stuff because they've never dealt with it before. Here's my best advice. Get over it. This is your business. You have to talk about money because the only way you're going to collect money is if you talk about it. So let me give you three pieces of advice when you're meeting with a prospect for the first time. You need to get everything clear up front about what you're going to do for that person. You need to get a verbal agreement about what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, how you're going to do it, what you're going to get paid, and how you are going to get paid for the service that you're providing. You get all that clear up front, and you get a verbal agreement from the prospect that this is what's going to happen. That's step one. Then, in step two, you got to get everything in writing. Put it down on a simple one-page sheet of paper, give it to the prospect, and make sure the prospect signs it. That's not that difficult. And by the way, in a few videos, I'm going to show you a great, easy way of creating your own simple legal contracts. I call it the contract tree. I've been teaching this in my classes for a long time, and it's great because small business owners don't need to get an attorney every time they need to write a contract. So look for the contract tree. But anyway, you get first, you get a verbal agreement. Secondly, you get it in writing and have both parties sign it. And then if you're dealing with this prospect for the first time, you've never done business with this person before, make sure you get something up front. I don't care if you're an interior designer, a videographer, a photographer, a computer programmer, whatever it is, if you're doing work for somebody for the first time, get some money up front. It's really critical that you do that because co collections are really a pain in the butt for most new businesses. By the way, you want to hear how the story with Jimmy ended? ended? Jimmy did send a very terse email to the client on a Friday. On Monday, the client called Jimmy. On Tuesday, the client met with Jimmy, and guess what? Jimmy got paid in full. Sometimes you just have to push customers a little bit harder to get paid. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's either right up there, or I don't know, it might be right up there, but make sure you subscribe and also leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer back for you. Thanks for watching the New Business Bob Show. Ooh, 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 the best place to get learning from being a new business owner is the New Business Bob Show. Thanks for watching.